Hello everyone and welcome to your Weekend Vibes. Sorry about uh, not releasing the video earlier, but <laughs> I'm doing it now. So let's check in what happened with you on the weekend and what is yet to happen, happen with you. We'll be choosing five cards for each zodiac sign. Yes, and we should be good. Yes, it's a short reading, small message, but nonetheless, you can check if this is what's happening, or what is going to happen, or what has already happened over the weekend. A bit of guidance of your movement forward. Now, before we start, I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the spirits and spirit guides of love and light for guiding us to finally share my gifts with you all. So darlings, if you like your reading, yeah, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. So let's begin. Give it a last shuffle and we will start with the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Starting with Aquarius because I like to end with Capricorn. <laughs> right. Five cards, please. Alright, Aquarius, looks like you have a choice in love to make. Yes, you are um, going back and forth in your head with regards to what choice you have to make with a person, um, decision in love, sorry. Yes, there is somebody who has really captured your attention. You feel as though you share a soulmate connection with this one person. Yeah, because this person is like a go-getter, fiery. This person could be a business owner, business person, or just confident here is they know what they want and they go for it you do love this person but at the same time i think uh, you are probably invested in someone else yes and you will need to break off or kind of uh, make a decision who you want to be with okay now <sighs> You have to make a decision that is true to your heart with regards to what path you want to take, which person you want to be with. You have to listen to your intuition. Yes, perhaps you feel as though something could have happened in the past. So there's a bit of deceptive energy over here and it's calling for you to have trust that everything, whatever is happening in your life is happening for a better reason. It's happening for the best, okay? Uh, it's better to start with a small offer. It's better to uh, get to know each other, yes, when you all are... Mm, dating each other or you know being with each other is uh, best to know everything about the person first and then take it from there okay slow and steady wins the race remember always yes do not rush into anything keep your mind open keep your heart open and be true be true to yourself and be true to the people you could be dealing with now that was for Aquarius let's go on to the next sign which is Pisces Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces for the weekend. Last shuffle and we should begin. Pisces seems like uh, you are communicating to somebody over here to take the leap of faith with you, yes, and you're wanting to work on this relationship, yeah, with someone that you're thinking about heavily, yes, you're putting in the work, you're putting in the effort um, behind the scenes or trying to, you know, speak with this person in order to make it work, you want them to take a leap of faith into the future with you. Now your person I can see clearly over here is perhaps moving away from this 
uh, any conflicts that you may have had in the past in this relationship. Yes, and they're probably deciding to go and explore the options and they could also be financially uh, concentrating on their finances. You could be dealing with a business person or a wealthy person yeah, who could be invested in many areas, who could be making huge investments in many areas of their life. Okay. So now the romance angels over here says clearly decide on what you want. So it comes to you now. So it feels like as though you're quite indecisive. You've not made a decision, a clear decision as yet. And um, perhaps that is sending out mixed signals into the universe. Perhaps you are dating around. So you have to make a choice and stick to the choice that you make. And uh, instead of spreading your energy around and scattering it and causing a lot of confusion. So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So perhaps the energy in the past could have been stagnant or it could have been very heavy in between you and this person. So maybe it's time for you to uh, look at the lighter side of things and bring in some joy and happiness into your connection. So that was for Pisces, short and sweet. Now let's move into the next sign, which is Aries. So let's see what's happening for Aries. For the weekend. So Aries over here, I can see clearly that you probably have been dealing with two people, okay? Uh, for some of you, you were hoping for a reconciliation with a person who was uh, for, I'll tell you what, some of you were cheating on a person, uh, some of you were cheating on your relationship with a person, yeah, that was uh, quite the vixen, you could say. <laughs> yes, so perhaps it's time to make a decision, yes, and leave whatever is not serving you behind. I can see over here you're trying to kind of... Um, escape a situation without being caught, okay? You could also be dealing with a person who has been juggling you and somebody else. All right, this is for some of you. You could be dealing with a person who has been juggling you with somebody else. This person wants to come towards you, but they have to leave somebody or something in the past. Okay, so they're working on it. They probably could be going to a divorce or a separation from their partner. Now, for some of you, you could be the one who has been on the side. And uh, this person, in order, you've made it clear in order for them to come towards you, they have to uh, be unattached to anyone else. Yes, so here you are. They look at you that you're celebrating, you're having fun, you're going out, you're the center of attraction. And this is actually, you know, kind of driving them insane, basically. So they are taking the necessary actions to leave the other person and come towards you. Now, you're being asked over here to stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yes, if that's the case, I think you're doing just well because you are going out having fun, yes, with your friends and um, you're living your life the best way you know you can. Okay, for some of you, I can see clearly over here, you're pursuing your passion, you're pursuing your dreams and whatever it is you're doing is bringing you the balance that you seek emotionally, mentally, spiritually because uh, some of you are concentrating on your finances which are doing very well in your finances actually and this is going to bring you great abundance. Now in terms of, in terms of love, uh, if you're thinking about this person or the person on your mind, you're being assured by the romance angels that this could be the one and you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for some of you, if you have been eyeing this person or you know you have been literally um, thinking about this person a lot, yes, um, you could, this prob probably could be the person that you end up with, yes, but they have to detach themselves from some situation of their past, okay, so they have to make up their mind, basically they are teetering, torturing here and there, so they will make up their mind and they will come towards you most definitely, if that's the case. 
Now let's move on to the next sign, which is Taurus. Let's see what's going on for Taurus on the weekend. Okay, so Taurus over here, I can see you're trying to manifest something that has already come to an end, okay? Um, it's for, for it to work again in your favor, you have to make the necessary approach. You need to make an apology to, or someone needs to make an apology to words in order for, what am I talking? Good God. <laughs> In order for this relationship to work, or in order for things to be made right, an apology needs to be made, okay? There needs to be things that has to be clear in between you and your person. You're trying to manifest something over here. You're using all the uh, tools that and elements in your favor and resources that you have to make things happen for you. But you feel as though whatever you've done over here is not has all backfired, okay? So some things perhaps you were doing has backfired on you and it is n not bearing fruit. The person you're dealing with is taking a leap of faith towards the future and they are going towards whatever makes them happy. So it looks like your person is feeling a bit, um, uh, um, you know, is taking the decision to move away from you. So it could be that your person has uh, had enough of this relationship or whatever went down in this relationship because there could have been a lot of manipulations and mind games going on over here. So they're leaving it all behind in order to move towards their happiness because they feel as though they have not received the apology they seek from you. Uh, so it looks like they have had a moment of closure and they have moved on. Now you are being asked here by the romance angels to keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this person over here could be very different from you, a different race, different religion, different upbringing, different background, different opinion, different level of intelligence, etc, etc. It can go so many ways, okay? So perhaps there was a, a differences in the way you looked at relationships, differences in the way you are behaved in relationships. So basically over here I can see clearly Taurus's you were trying to play some mind games and you were trying to hide something from this person. So over here you're being urged by the romance angels to make the, make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So good luck with that and I hope things work for you. Now, let's move on to the next sign which is the zodiac sign of Gemini. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. So Gemini, so there is a decision you have to make of which part you need to take here. Yeah, you have to make a decision in order for things to be moving forward. You, there is something that you're holding very close to your heart and you're not, uh, and that makes you very happy but you're not uh, willing to reveal um, it yet. So clearly over here I can see that um, uh, you both are holding back here yeah, uh, from the situation because your person feels over here uh, there are a lot of things that are not making sense with you and there's a lot of secrets that has been kept from them and they feel as though they've invested so much time and effort into this relationship but they have not received anything much in return. Yes, they're very fearful that this relationship is going to fail again in the future if they keep going in your direction. Yes, over here clearly it is time for you to make a decision, yeah, which part you want to take. Perhaps you have a decision between two people or many people, whoever it is, which phase of, whichever phase you're in, the dating phase or in the relationship phase, you have to make a choice that makes you happy, okay? Now, 
The Romance Angels of Year saying it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life and it's time for you to let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So perhaps you've been controlling the outcome of the situation because you wanted to enjoy two, two people at the same time. Yes, so you want to pick out the best one of the two basically. Or perhaps you're having a you're in a relationship and there's someone else who's caught your attention. If you're in the dating phase, you have a, ch a choice to make between two people. But right now you just want to uh, have some fun and see where it goes. But there is somebody over here who has clearly invested a lot of time and effort into you and feels as though it's not been reciprocated and they're not... Um, and now their fears are kind of eating them up some way, shape, form or the other and they could uh, end up pulling back here. Yeah? So be careful of that and conduct yourself accordingly. So Gemini, that was your reading. Short and sweet. Let's see what's happening for Cancer. The zodiac sign of Cancer. Let's see what's happening for Cancer Darlings. That's it, five. Okay, again, so we are, I think you're moving away, away from some things that is not serving you, yes. Uh, if you are stressed out about something, you're leaving it, yes, you're leaving it be. And um, you're very clear with the intentions of what you want. Now, there's a lot of passion between you and your person. Your person, you all could have had a massive um, argument or for some of you, you could have had a breakup, yeah. But I can see you all both coming back together because you're quite passionate about each other. You'll want to start brand new on a brand new slate. Yes, because the love that you have for each other is undeniable. undeniable. Over here, you have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other and allow your heart and soul to sing with joy because there's so much passion in between you both. Now, the only way you can get uh, towards the next level or just uh, move past the obstruction which is the hurt and the pain in your relationship is to have open and honest conversations with each other. Yes, be kind to each other, be gentle with each other, respect each other's opinions. Yes, and keep moving forward. Do not leave out any information that is not um, that that could come and bite you in the butt. Yes, in the future. So be honest. The key to every relationship is honesty. Be open and honest, okay? If you've done something wrong, speak about it. If you're feeling a certain way, speak about it. If you keep hiding, it's just going to pile up and it's going to burst one day into a volcano and it's just going to erupt into a sea of destruction, okay? So it's going to get worse. So it's time for you to be open and honest. Yes, discuss your feelings with each other. If you love each other, speak it out. Tell each other that you love each other. If any of you all has done anything wrong, it's time for you all to confess to it and put it in the past in order to meet to be able to move on. This is a soulmate relationship wherein there's a lot of love, passion. It looks like there's a lot of passion. <laughs> About the love, yes. It's time for you all to work and make the effort to put uh, the work into this relationship. Now, if you all want each other, if you all don't, then feel free to do what you want. That was Cancer. Now let's go on to the zodiac sign of Leo. Let's see what's happening with Leo Darlings. This is what the zodiac sign of Leo. Over here I can see Leo. Yes, uh, looks like this relationship has been through the ringer. Whatever you're in, you are holding 
you're both holding on to hope that this relationship is going to work there may have been something that may have been broken down yeah <clears throat> you'll you'll have to break down the foundations in order to be able to rebuild it uh, in a better way um you're both working on interested in working on this relationship starting brand new your person perhaps you are interested in starting this relationship brand new yes you want to rebuild on this foundation yeah you're probably holding on to this relationship for dear life now your person is holding something back from you that they are probably offering their love somewhere else they have a choice to make between two people they have a decision to make yes and they have been hiding this from you there is something that needs to be spoken about there is something uh that needs to be revealed okay this much needed conversation is the thing that could heal this relationship okay so if your person for example strayed away from you yes perhaps it's time for them to confess uh their feelings for you and also to confess whatever mistakes they may have done so that they you all can both heal and move this relationship forward so over here there's a lot of um, this uh, perhaps your person behaved from a space of stress from a space of trauma of their past you know from the childhood or from some incident that may have happened in their past so the moment they were triggered that perhaps something went wrong in your relationship they ran to somebody else yes so if your person has had such a pattern it's time for you all to address it uh, professionally or just have this honest conversation so that you all can resolve it together okay as a couple now there is a strong mag magnetic attraction over here there's a lot of love or at least physical attraction over here between you and your person so you will come together in probably that sense first and then start talking and then try to heal it um, together heal the relationship together okay so if that's the case darling good luck and i hope you'll uh, able to make it through now let's go to the next sign which is the zodiac sign of virgo Okay. So Okay. Over here we can clearly see there's a decision that needs to be made. You need to choose a path that you want to be on. Yes, uh, you're co currently you're concentrating on your money. You're not uh, emotionally wanting to be disturbed. Uh, you do not want to make any decisions based on your emotions, okay? You're currently focused on your commitment you're currently focused on some of you could be probably preparing for marriage yes and some of you could be probably focused focused on a relationship that is leading towards commitment very well it could be so some of you could be um thinking of um or planning a marriage <laughs> a wedding ceremony or whatever it is and some of you could be taking your relationship to the next level you're making a very um logical decision you have no time to waste on emotions so you're thinking about your future in order to be moving forward the person you're thinking about on the other side over here is full of conflicts full of drama yes and uh, they could be going through a lot of inner turmoil at the moment here yeah? and uh, oh, someone over here in your life could be holding back from you yes and they could be watching uh, whatever it is or reviewing whatever it is that they've done against you um, clearly over here it is time for you to love yourself first your self respect makes you more romantically attractive so over here clearly you're concentrating on yourself you're concentrating concentrating on your own life and this perhaps is uh, causing a um, few people to uh, kind of um, fight for your attention okay or whatever it is clearly over here there is some kind of um, there's somebody around you who's quite immature yeah and who could be causing a bit of drama and conflicts but 
yeah they could have many people involved in their life so they are realizing that um, perhaps they have to make up their mind for themselves instead of entertaining so many people and uh, what you call um, speaking to so many people about their issues yes so there you go Virgo you focus on yourself and you focus on your commitment but something over here that is not clear to you at the moment you will be able to make a decision on it in order to be moving forward now that was Virgo let's go on to the next sign which is Libra let's see what's going on for the zodiac sign of Libra Okay, so Libra over here, I can see there is something that may have uh, come to an end. Yes, there could have been an argument. There could have been a um, situation that may have happened in your life over here. Yeah, somebody may have rushed in and um, spewed a few shit to you. Like they could have been very rude, very harsh in their communication towards you. Yes, this person, whoever you're dealing with is quite impulsive. Yes, so they could have come in and uh, could have let you know that you know they're not interested in you anymore and this relationship is over so why did they do that because they have invested themselves and in their emotions somewhere else yes they feel as though so the person you were dealing with was actually cheating on you perhaps yes and or cheating on somebody else and you were a person who who they had on the side so many words going through my mouth <laughs> i have to choose <laughs> yeah so they were uh, they're probably uh going through a tough time at the moment yes and they're probably waiting on somebody over here clearly they're taking their love elsewhere okay so i don't know what happened over here perhaps uh, they were caught with you on the side or they were exposed in some sort of way and they had to come and end it with you or something of the sort yes whatever it is yes now they are uh, sitting in regret because they, ha they could have lost both situations. Nonetheless, they are taking their love elsewhere. So you were dealing with somebody who was already in a commitment re committed relationship. Over here, you're being advised to free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So perhaps you had some codependency issues. So you were perhaps uh, uh, feeling sad or sorry, feeling lonely or something. And you kind of came across this person or this person was chasing you and you gave in to it gave into this so it looks like a bit of catfishing going on over here so this person was not speaking the whole truth about their relationship status and they kind of fished you into it and uh, they could have also love bombed you because of codependency for you for you to be or for anyone it's either you or it could be a person they have some kind of addictions okay so they like to be in multiple relationships they have one main relationship and they like to be in many multiple relationships so good luck so it's at anyways it's coming to an end so that's the good part about it so that was for libra let's go on to the next sign which is virgo all the kinds of people in this world darling so much games life is simple but no people have to make it complicated and play all these games <laughs> right so we are on to the next sign which is Scorpio So Scorpio over here, seems like we're talking about a long distance relationship, yes. Um, 
uh, there is somebody who wants to offer you their love they want to re uh, be with you yes and uh, you all could be talking online or you could be corresponding from a distance okay whatever it is there, there may have been something that went down with you yeah between you and this person uh, there could have been some misunderstanding or there could have been some conflicts that you all were trying to resolve in between you both now this person is very sorry for what they've done they want to offer you their love now this person also could not be speaking the truth they not could not be giving you the clarity you seek okay they're trying to get away with a lot uh, they just want to start again with you without uh, repairing the situation yeah if they were the reason for destruction they are not willing to put in the effort they're not willing to put in the work yes in whatever deceitful things that they have done in the past so they're trying to get away with things by sweeping things under the rug but it's not going to sit well with you and it's not going to be good for the relationship it's not going to be good for the health of the relationship because it is always going to crop up in the future yes things are swept up in the rug once you roll the rug up it's always going to be seen so that's the case that's happening here they want you to forget about it because they want to get away with a lot of things they feel uh, if you just ignore it if they just ignore it it will go away but it doesn't happen that way yeah because who's the hurt person over here you are the hurt person uh, over here and you're standing your ground very clearly over here you could be uh, <clears throat> you could be sending your intentions out into the universe yes to give you a relationship that is honest and that is clear uh, uh, that has clear clarity <laughs> what am I talking that is honest and that is straightforward okay now Scorpio uh, some of you uh, it's becoming clear for you that you love the person that you're thinking about and over here in order for you to go towards someone someone new in order to go towards a long-term relationship I think over here clearly you want to commit yourself you see yourself in a long-term committed relationship and you want to move towards it okay as for this person uh, you're not going to accept them back. You're not going to take this relationship any further unless and until you receive the clarity you seek from this person and until and unless they speak the truth. Now, it says of you are to enjoy your bliss, enjoy the bliss of honeymoon time together and to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So it's time for you to release your ex. Um, if this person has hurt you and you're leaving them in the past, release them. Yes, because there's clearly another relationship who is coming that is coming towards you. It's a brand new relationship okay and it's time for you to move towards it now that is scorpio let's go on to the next sign which is sagittarius and see what's going on your lovely sagittarians the truth seekers <laughs> how would i expect the ace of swords to come into your reading sagittarians but let's see let's roll that card and the shuffle and we will read the cards darlings <clears throat> oh good god you have four three major arcanas out of uh, five and one court card Two court cards so there's some kind of major change happening in your life <clears throat> you're concentrating on your money your money is on your mind and mind is on your money okay you're <clears throat> probably uh, putting your emotions on the back seat at the moment you're not trusting your emotions yes because you want to make a fair and balanced decision with regards to your life yeah it's regards to love life perhaps you have a choice to make between two people okay there's somebody over here from your past that is spying on you that is keeping an eye out on you and there is somebody over here who could be of your equal entity uh, equal mm. kinds that is coming into your life so you could be deciding between a new person and between an old person because oh yes yes even the romance angels are going in two different directions darling. 
Okay, Sagittarius, so there is something happening over here. There is somebody from your past that is keeping an eye on you, okay, and uh, they want to know what you're doing. So perhaps that is the person that you may have broken up with or have separated yourself from. There is a new person who has entered your life. This person could be a business owner. This person could be well-established. This person could be uh, known in, in and around wherever you live or in society. It could be a known figure. Now what you're concentrating on, you're concentrating on long-term stable relationships, you're concentrating on your future, you're concentrating on stability and you're moving forward. Some of you are business owners, some of you are doing very well and some of you are, uh, in order to make a fair and balanced decision, you are making a logical decision which is going to sit well with you. So now over here, you could be getting to know somebody new, you could be getting to know each other on a uh, deeper level so as you reveal your innermost secrets or innermost selves to each other your bond deepens it says here and it's time to work on this partnership so perhaps in the past you could have um overlooked that relationship yes because you were embroiled in somebody who was who you were embroiled in a relationship of your past with a spying person over here and uh, a person who was very immature in their ways and now you're going into a relationship with a person who is very mature so you're leaving the past in the past and you're making a decision to go towards this new partnership so if in the past you could have um kind of overlooked this person yeah even though uh, you, this person was standing out to you this new person now you are actually going to give it a chance and you're going to go towards this new relationship full-fledged i think this is going to be the best decision you make in your life because look at the cars that's surrounding it yes so good luck sagittarius yes let's move towards the next sign and the last sign which is the sign of capricorn yes yes that was a good reading Sagittarians. Now let's move on to Capricorn and see what's happening with a lovely Capricorns. I think it's a season of old new. Let's see. Final shuffle. Wow. So Capricorn, you're making steady moves towards your future in terms of money, okay? And it's leading you towards your Ten of Pentacles. It's leading you towards uh, your legacy, okay? So you're on the right path, whatever it is. Keep going at it and it's going to bring in you, it's going to bring in the abundance that you seek for yourself, okay? And for your family. So, currently... <laughs> This is, a, this is a typical Capricorn reading. Yes, <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> Anyways, in terms of love, you are a kind of person who wants a stable foundation, okay, and you are willing to put in the work to have a stable foundation. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race, and that's what you believe. Uh, you're working towards uh, your future. You're working towards finding a right partner for yourself. And for those of you already in a relationship, you are working towards... Uh, finding that uh, equilibrium in your family setting, in your coupledom. Now, for those of you who are single, you are uh, clearly making yourself known and you are probably dating and you are looking for a long-term companion, long-term partnership, you're looking for a long-term commitment and it is already here for you, okay? The only thing over here is that you could be dealing from, with somebody from your past, somebody over here that's keeping an eye on you, somebody who is very immature in their ways and they could be in and out of your life very quickly. You are advised to stay away from such people. You are advised to leave the past in the past here yeah, because time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you're letting it go and you are letting it flow. Now, for, this, uh, for those of you who are 
who has found the partner that they want to be with yes long term it is time for you to go ahead and make the romantic gesture and express your love to this person who is entering your life the person who is entering your life is someone who could be very loving very kind very nurturing but they're very guarded at the moment with their heart because they do not want to make sacrifices that is uh, going to hurt their heart so it feels as though you'll have both been through similar circumstances in the past and perhaps you'll have both guarded in a way that's why you all want to take things slow now for some of you i can see clearly over here you are both going to be uh, kind of doing a background check on each other i don't know how you are going to do that but there are many ways yes and which uh, will kind of reveal that uh, the both of you are meant to be with each other so it looks like a good match darling capricorn but whatever is there creeping up onto you with your past i think it's time to separate yourself from it and move forward so wh whoever did you wrong will receive their karma whoever uh, lost their opportunity with with you they can just sit back relax and uh, watch you for the rest of their lives right so <laughs> that's about it darling you are building your legacy you're going towards legacy you're you're the best choice you're coming across as a very viable candidate if uh, you're like you know putting yourself out on a dating scene and a lot of people you're gaining a lot of traction you're gaining a lot of um, attraction from you're attracting a lot of people towards you because it looks like you're the most stable and viable long term commitment candidate on the <laughs> on the dating scene <laughs> so you're top notch darling you're on the top of the line so good luck capricorn if that's the case now that was your reading my old signs yes that was all sign weekend vibes and i hope you're having a lovely weekend i hope you enjoyed your reading as well if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed already and for my returning subscribers darlings i love you i thank you so much for your support for your love and for your donations to the rose tarical and for being on this journey with me so far until we meet again darlings i love you take care and god bless